Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or a big welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Kim. This is Cleaning with Kim where we show you the real, the raw, and the ugly. And I am still on a roll for my past few videos trying to get my house in order after going through um, a bit of a mental struggle. So if you are just looking for some real raw cleaning motivation or someone to just kind of relate to, you're definitely in the right spot. Let's go ahead and get started. As always, I'm gonna go ahead and just give you an overview of everything we're gonna be working on today. In today's video, we are going to be focusing on the messiest parts of my home at the time of filming this video, and that was my kitchen and my shared toddler's bedroom. There's a good shot of it right there. This room had gotten completely out of control and I couldn't stand it anymore. I, I don't know what it is about me just waiting until I walk in a room and I feel like I'm crawling out of my skin. I'm like, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and clean it now. Um, so we're going to hit up the kitchen first, get this kitchen all in order, and then we're going to be heading into the shared toddler's bedroom. But if this is your first time here, like I said, my name is Kim and I am a stay-at-home mom. I've got three chillins. Emma is 14, Mason is three, and Ella is five. I do homeschool my children, um, and I just do my best, you know, just over here doing my best. Um, the motto around here is do what you can and give yourself grace for the rest of it, because who isn't going through something right now? Um, and I know that it can be really hard to prioritize your home when the whole, you know, everything else around you is going on. And that could be mental, physical, whatever you might be going through. Um, so when I can and I'm cleaning up and I have the time to pick up my phone, I'll go ahead and film it in hopes to bring you some motivation, some inspiration, some encouragement, whatever you might need to help you get in order, whatever you may need to get in order. So go ahead and hit that bell and the subscribe. It's completely free. It's just going to let you know every time that I upload a video. So go ahead and hit that like button, give it a thumbs up. That helps it reach more people who may need to see it. Let's go ahead and get started on this kitchen and let me know what are you doing today? Are you sitting back and watching? Are you relaxing with a snack and a cup of coffee? If you are, good for you, girl. You deserve it. Or do you have me posted up somewhere and are you cleaning along with me? I would say we were good together.
right, while we finish up these dishes, I just kind of want to do like a check-in with you. I feel like I want to do this more often because I want this to be a safe place where we can all just talk about the stuff that isn't socially acceptable, I guess, to be talked about. But let's do a mental health check-in. And you don't have to put in the comments if you don't want to. If you want to, great, we can chat and we can share. But um, ever since I became a lot more vulnerable on this page. Um, I was actually talking to my husband about that. I was uh, basically just telling him because he's like, you have 10,000 subscribers. And I'm like, I know, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand it. Um, I was like, I, I really, I don't understand. And then he's like, well, I think it's because you aren't fake. Like you really show it how it is. And I was like, yeah, I was like, and here recently I've been way more vulnerable and way more open. Um, and that's very, very unlike me. If you know me in real life, I'm a very quiet, introverted person. I don't put my business out there. Um, but here recently I've just been more open about my struggles and especially mental health struggles. And, um, the feedback that I've gotten from you is it's it's amazing like I can't tell you how many times I've cried over comments because I just huh I don't know what I deserved I didn't I don't deserve you guys um but I want you to really just are are you okay is everything going okay for you right now like I said you don't have to put it in the comments but um just kind of check in with yourself every once in a while and Make sure that you're doing okay. Make sure that you're filling your own cup. Um, that is something that I would just never do if I didn't physically like plan it and make myself do it. Because I am a stay-at-home mom and I'm a homeschool mom, I'm literally with my children 24-7. There are no breaks in my house um, ever at all <laughs> unless my husband is off work which is like once in a blue moon my husband works a lot and he'll like take the kids to the park or something and um I stay at the house and because when that's really what I want to do like I, I'm not the person to like go in public that's not relaxing to me the public is not relaxing for me being in my home is my happy place my safe space um and so that's the one thing that I would like to do but besides that kids out of the picture just maybe taking a bubble bath once a week or reading a book whenever you get a chance and I know that it's hard because well, especially for me I'll be sitting in my messy house and I'm like oh I would really like to sit down and read my book the kids are napping the house is quiet but then I'm like the laundry is staring at me in the face but the laundry will be there the laundry will be there when the kids are up it'll be there when the kids are not up um and so it's just something that I physically have to be like okay I'm gonna take this time and do this for myself because when I don't, it, it when I don't do it, it really, really does take a toll um, on my mental health. That you, the the saying you have to fill your cup before you can fill others is so true. Because if you keep pouring and pouring and pouring, and it ends up empty, and you're still trying to pour out of an empty cup, it's just gonna make everything so much worse. I become so much more short tempered and just um, so much less motivated. I don't I don't want to do anything and. It's, it becomes a lot, it's, at least for me mentally. I don't know if anyone else goes through that, but I just want you to just kind of do a check-in with yourself and are you making time for yourself? And if you're not, make sure you're making time for yourself.
Once I'm done in here, I am going to head up into the shared toddler's bedroom. Like I said, my kids are three and five and they have way, 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 way too much stuff, which I don't understand how this stuff keeps accumulating because if you were here last year or maybe it was earlier this year, I don't remember, um, months ago, I completely decluttered and organized their room and somehow, some way we are here. They've brought up every single blanket into their room. It was just, there's so much stuff. I don't understand how there's this much stuff. <laughs> um, but I do end up taking some of this out and going and putting it away. I'm really, really trying to get better at the toy rotation thing. Um, so, okay. If you haven't been here before, if you have, I'm sorry. I know I sound like a broken record, but I just want to make sure everyone knows about the pile method. I want it to help someone else. Like it has helped me tremendously. Um, Essentially, the pile method is what it sounds like. You put everything into a ginormous pile into the middle of the room. Like, literally everything. And then we're going to sit down and we're going to go through everything one by one. You pick it up. What is it? Where does it go? Put it into its little category next to you and then move on to the next thing. And then once the pile is gone, you go around and you put away your categories. Um, and this is just something that I've always done. I shared a room with my two little brothers when we were kids. And so we also had a big mess. Um, and, you know, you wouldn't know it by looking at my house. But when big messes like this happen, it really, really drives me crazy. Some people call me OCD. I don't, I don't see that because of the way that I let my house get sometimes. Um, but I... I can see because it really does drive me nuts and everything has a home and in order for me to be able to breathe correctly and just be in a good place I would love everything to be in its home now obviously we live here that's not always going to happen nothing is going to be in its home all the time so we just gonna throw that out the window but as much as we can um, everything should have a home and if you can't find a home for it you don't need it. Get rid of it. Um, that's kind of my motto whenever I do get in here and I really start digging into stuff like this. So everything in the middle of the floor. I'm going to take my little containers. You see, I already got my laundry basket posted up there. I've got like a little couple little, uh, couple, couple little of containers that I'm going to be organizing their toys into. And once the pile is gone, I'm actually going to come back on here and show you guys what that looks like as soon as the pile is gone. So let's get everything into the middle of the floor and we'll get started on this giant pile of Felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders I'm closed off, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights Sunsets, remember 
remember the colors, they were wrong It was way more than a dream We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside It's alright, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights I would love to know if this has worked for you. I know that I've heard from a few people on here that didn't learn it from me, but they're like, oh my gosh, I do that too when there's like a huge mess. I've always done that. Um, and so that's really cool. And if you don't do this, what do you do if you have a ginormous mess like this? How do you tackle it? I would love to hear and definitely share with everybody. I would love if we could just all help each other out like that. Our minds are all going to work differently. And so we're all going to be able to find function differently. Um, like I know my mom, for instance, I was telling her about this and she was like, no, that would just overwhelm me. She's like, no way. Don't put everything into a pile. That would freak me out. And it can be a little intimidating, but I'm telling you just one thing at a time, make your categories and then go around and pick up your categories. And you'll see what I mean in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and finish up. This pile is already getting smaller and smaller. It's, it's pretty satisfying to see. And then I'm going to come on and tell you guys exactly this organized chaos that I have going on here. talk about my little organized chaos that I have going on over here. Um, it looks like we're not done. That's because we're not. But when I say I do stuff in sections and then I go around and put all the things away, normally from right to left or left to right. So I've got dirty clothes. This needs to actually go in their closet. So it needs to go out of their closet. This is all stuff that needs to go downstairs and be put away. 
This is construction stuff. This is food that needs to go over by the kitchen. We got trucks, which I think I'm gonna switch out these two because we got a lot of trucks and not a lot of toys they actually play with. Trains, Legos, Dr. Sat. I'm gonna put these away. These are toys that I decided to put away because I don't see them play with often. Got dress up stuff. We're putting this away as well. It has little figurines in it. All these books we gotta put up. And then more dress up stuff, more dress up stuff. And then that obviously goes with the dress up stuff. So I'm just gonna be going around and putting everything away now. And then we're gonna come back and take care of the floors and all that.
And that's going to be it for today's video, y'all. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you got a ton of motivation, inspiration, and encouragement from today's video. And I will see you in the next one. Have a blessed day.